hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for latest update from tutorial different welcome back guys so today we are going to talk about in situ hybridization part genomic in situ hybridization that is short form gis so we are going to enter so uh, genomic in situ hybridization is a site to genetic technique that allow one to read a label part of genome within cells. You know, it takes the DNA by radio labeling it. So we can uh, easily found it in all of the genome of the DNA. So it can efficient our process. So this was mainly developed for the animal hybrids, cell lines and uh, at uh, Plant Breeding Institute, Cambridge, in 1987, where this technique uh, got its name, GIS. The GIS is quick, sensitive, accurate, informative, and a comparative approach rather than ab absolute one. And uh, GIS technique is an advanced in in situ hybridization that is uh, in fluorescent in situ hybridization that is sort uh, as referred as fish techniques. So. In situ hybridization, there are two types face or GIS. So, GIS is more rather than advanced technology than face technique. And now we come to the part of the principle of GIS technique. So, GIS technique uh, main principle is hybridization of a prop complex with single DNA complex. The technique involves the extraction and uh, subsequently radial labeling of whole DNA of one organism and to use as a probe to target the genome of another organism. The parts of genome that are sufficiently similar to the probe hybridized to form a probe target complex which is now labeled. This mean uh, the probe labeled by us uh, you know, have the con uh, contemporary base analog to uh, part of the genome that we uh, want to get insert so by get inserting it it will make uh, uh, by base anal uh, logging to stand of dna so now we can uh, tag that genome or unhybridized part will be uh, further staining for the point of view now we come to the process before starting it is uh, main point we will use three thing in it mainly okay prop dna first thing that is labeled with uh, directly fluorescent dye or not labeled with influence dye second thing is blocking dna blocking dna is uh, unlabeled dna from another generator at high concentration having common sequence with probe or main chromosome genome third one is main chromosome genome now we come to the processor so first thing you can see probe labeling direct with fluorescent dye uh, that is fluoro fluorescing and uh, indirect uh, with uh, non influorescent dye second one b right side of the peak fragmentation of blocking dna uh, again left side uh, slide preparation uh, D part uh, probe denaturation and uh, also denaturation of the blocking DNA now E part adding to the hybridized mixer uh, as you can see now F part denaturation of the main chromosome DNA now in G part all of the three things uh, main chromosome or uh, probe or uh, blocking DNA will get in situ hybridization okay or and uh, in H you can uh, detect probe detection or a level DNA in J part you can visualize in uh, microscope okay now we come to the part of observation as you can see um, some images counter strand label that is labeled by the fluorescent dye or now we see the differences between this or 3d genome sequencing now 
genomic in situ hybridization it's a radio labeling of the genome while 3d genome is a restriction cleavage of genome in situ hybridization is uh, quick results site specific and uh, plurus and microscopy is used while in 3d genome multiple step technique and uh, time consuming technique hic matrix are used now we um, see the differences of fish fish mean uh, fluorescent in situ hybridization while just genomic in situ hybridization so in situ hybridization genomic two probe will be entire genome while in fluorescent will be oligonucleotide sequence its comparative approach is absolute approach its main ap uh, application is stabilizing phylogenetic relationship or while in fluorescein in situ main application is uh, determination of repeat repetitive dna sequence so application now some applications of it meiotic studies determination of phylogenetic relationship determine the position of uh, translocation breakpoint unknown genome identification uh, identify the hybridized genome of crop varieties and also and also use for comparative genomic studies of malignant and normal cells of an individual thanks guys